So basically, I'll be talking about the chest pain because all of us know that the most important when we practice as a general practitioner or as a physician, uh, whenever we talk about the heart disease or any other disease related to gastrointestinal or sometimes anxiety neurosis, the chest pain is the one which with which patient presents to you. And important thing about the chest pain is out of 100 patients who will present to you as a chest pain, out of them, hardly 5 or 7% will be actually uh, will have the serious disease. But then identifying those 7% becomes very, very important because if you miss a patient's of acute myocardial infarctions, uh, then you know what happens. The 50% of them will have a death. So it is very important that you rule out that 93% who are benign one, but very important that diagnose those 7% who are really uh, one who needs uh, your treatment. So uh, let's move directly uh, over the topic that, uh, as I uh, told you, that 25% of our OPD visits are all uh, chest pain. And what is important is, uh, most important is diagnosing it. So objective when we evaluate the chest pain is most important is rapidly and accurately assess the chest pain. You have to able to formulate an accurate differential diagnosis and understand and able to initiate the basic initial therapy. This is what we actually need when we talk about the chest pain. So most important is what is the clinical classification of a chest pain? Any patient comes to you as a chest pain, you have to categorize them into typical uh, uh, classification. That is one that is a definite or typical angina. It is just a history. It is, you don't have to do any fancy investigations or very important investigation. It is just a history that you ask them that whether the patient has got a substantial chest discomfort with a characteristic quality and uh, and the characteristic uh, quality and the duration. But if you are talking about the cardiac chest pain, the patient will have a either left sided chest pain or the central chest pain, which is a visceral chest pain, which you cannot locate by the hand. It is not a uh, it as it is a visceral pain, it is a diffuse pain. You cannot just pinpoint the pain by one hand or one finger or something like that. So the characteristic of the pain, it is a substernal chest pain of a typical quality, like somebody is sitting on your chest, somebody is choking your neck, somebody is hitting on your chest, this kind of a typical quality. A duration, which is more than 30 minutes, ideally, the pain which is provoked by the exertion of stress, he, he, the patient will tell you that if I walk, if I do some activity, my pain will increase. If I don't walk, I sit for some time, my pain will uh, decrease. So relieved by the NTG or rest. So any pain, any patient who presents to you with a chest pain, ask him very, very uh, important question. What kind of a pain you are facing? What is the nature of a pain? Whether it is a substernal or whether it is a left-sided pain? What is the duration? Whether it is a continuous pain of more than 30 seconds? Whether it is provoked by the exceptional angina stress or whether it is relieved by the rest? So these are the three questions. If all three answer is positive, you are dealing with a typical angina that is a definite uh, classical angina. If out of three, the patient says only two things I am having or the two, either it is a substernal pain, it is provoked by the exertion, but it is not relieved by the NTG rest or something like that. So it is a typical angina. And none of these, or if the one characteristic is met by the history of the patient, then it is possibly a non-cardiac chest pain. So this is a very, very simple analysis of a chest pain. Whenever the patient comes to you, you just ask them these three questions. Out of three, all present, it is a typical angina. Two present, a typical, and there's one that is non-cardiac chest pain. It's a very simple thing. You just ask to ask, ask a patient a very uh, subtle history. That's all. So most important, whenever the patient present to you, what are the differential diagnosis you are dealing with? The patient is presented to your OPD with the chest pain. And what are the differential diagnosis you are talking about? Either you are dealing with the aortic dissection or a pericarditis, or you are dealing with the acute myocardial in, uh, infarction or unstable angina, or you are dealing with the pulmonary embolus, pneumothorax, pneumonia or a pleuritis, or it is just plain gastrointestinal or biliary or esophageal. Or sometimes it is a chest wall disease like costochondritis, fibrositis, rib fracture or something like that. Or most of the times it is just psychiatric disorder, anxiety disorders and hyperventilation. So these are the things which should strike your mind that the patient has presented to you with a chest pain. You ask patient the history, what are uh, those three points and then you categorize them into typical, atypical and non-cardiac chest pain. The next question comes to your mind, am I dealing with all these 
factors what I think. 